Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Wood Elves playthrough where we are still fighting off the forces of chaos, which um, have unfortunately had another mass influx. We've just taken out the Ever Chosen, and um, well, we're trying to rebuild a little bit, and we're getting another army on the way down here. Um, we need to smash the forces of chaos utterly this time. Um, I really could do with ending my other wars and bringing everything back up here, but I just don't think that's a really sensible option for me anymore. Oh, that's going to be where someone is. Will these guys actually give me peace at the moment? Not a chance. Um, so I need to end my other wars relatively quickly, guys, just to uh, get myself back on track. You can get that. You two are fine. Ooh, actually, let's have some fun. I go forth. We will take the force of chaos out on the high seas if we can catch them. Lady of the glade, at your service. Ill considered. None shall live. And down they go to the briny deeps. Sorry, anybody who think I've been say, playing some Sea of Thieves recently as well. <laughs> okay, so that's another Chaos Army down, though there will be more incoming. Uh, where are you? You're here. Um, yes, I know the where are you, you're here is not a particularly sensible answer, guys. Hmm... You can push in here. Hmm. Chaos corruption down here is nasty. My journey begins. Greetings right, from let Sigma. us get a unified war goal. On this guy. Yes, I am Teclis, High Law Master of the White Tower. He still won't accept peace, so I don't need to worry too much about that. Hmm. I acquiesce to your request. Oh, so close to having a dragon for her. Let's. Oh, why do we not have ever reaching tendrils for you? Let's enter. We are burning for our income at the moment, guys, and I am aware of this. Um, but it's because I'm fighting wars on multiple fronts, and I've got very, very veteran set-up armies. Um. I do need to bring this into, you know, I do need to get into a position where I can bring it into a order, but, um, well, we're still expanding at the moment. I've got plenty to go on. Once Chaos are defeated, we'll be able to lose a lot of this in the north, which will help us. And we are, thankfully, finally seeming to get a lot of support up in the north. Let's double time, though, because I don't really want to see all of this. I am sorry, guys. Uh, this, this video... I've recorded this video yesterday as you guys are watching it. I do usually try and get them early. This will probably be my only video today though, by the way, because uh, last night, hopefully, touch wood, I will have had a baby because my wife has just been induced. So um, over the next day or two, I'm saying this early in this, we I may well miss a few videos. So I'm, I'm sure you guys understand. I'm, I'm, it doesn't help that I'm full of cold, so, you know, we, we are going to be missing a bit over the next few days. So just, just so you guys are all aware of that. Okay, let's see what the Cult of Pleasure is doing. I think I managed to miss Chaos. That's why I don't like double timing. I always miss things when I double timing. Now, admittedly, when I'm playing a, a game I'm not recording, what I tend to do is I tend to have something on my other screen going on. So I tend to miss it because of that anyway, but, you know. So yeah, this is this is uh, Antok is Clan Moor's sorry uh, last holdout. So we're gonna charge that and batter them, finish off um, 
uh, Queek, not Squeak, Queek once and for all. Um, and then we'll be in a, you know, we'll be in a very good position. Uh, well, down there. I'm not, don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, we'll be in a better position down there. Queek being gone will help us. We'll batter through the rest of the vampires. I think we've got most of their big settlements now, which is good. Um, chaos is our big problem at the moment. And I need to finish them off badly. I need to finish them off before the next wave of the Doom Tide. The next time the Doom Tide comes in, because, um, well, as you've seen, the Doom Tide is devastating, guys. Um, you know, we are getting huge chaos hordes, and, and we are managing to fight them off, but every time a little bit is being chipped away, then a little bit more is being chipped away, then a little bit more. I've got to be said, say, it's quite odd how regularly they're flowing in at the moment. They're not usually quite so quickly in there, in there flowing in. It usually leaves a bit more time, but I know it's all to do with um, your size and things now, so um, I think the issue is I'm very considered to be incredibly powerful therefore it keeps throwing extra extra chaos at me they're a little worrying but there's a lot of armies there to try and deal with them they are very worrying they might well end up getting to Estelia that said there's a lot of other people there to try and help deal with them Oh, it's Chaos Army all right there. Or oh, is that a rebellion? Oh, the Empire has uh, got another... So the Empire is growing nicely, which is good for me, actually, in the way I'm playing at the moment. I'm on this okay. I'm just going to fill up my rest with archers. Four turns until they're ready, though. These are dark times. You can stay here. You can start pulling back down this way, actually, because I don't trust. I'm not. I'm not sure Estelia is safe. The forest calls. Oh, we've got another army there. Let's. I will make it so. Let's head towards Tor Dranel, which I'm fairly sure is held by some of my Skaven friends. I thirst for the hunt. Who we should be able to to batter with this setup. Hmm. Actual service. Making my way. Ridiculous. One day we'll catch this army. At least we're stopping it from actually really managing to do much at the moment. Because we're not giving him time to time to build up at all. Right, we are building. There's a lot of build up in the far north now, which should help us. It probably helps that those guys are probably trying to sneak in and capture a couple of settlements. Um, which I'm not fussed if they want to do. Because uh, that will help me in the end. Um, so... Well, you know. How are the Dowie doing over here? The Dowie are so dispersed. They're almost more, more dis a more dispersed empire than me, interestingly. Hmm. Finally, let's. Uh, I'm just going to auto this because I don't care about this army. This army is just being. Uh, this army is just being being uh, turned off now, effectively. 
I'm just going to disband it straight away. So. Okay, what are the law masters doing? Why am I watching everything? I really don't care. I keep forgetting to do this. It is always interesting to see what's going on, admittedly. Just so we don't miss anything from um, Marathi. How have they still not managed to take Lamia? Ooh. Well, we're going to have to fight this one, guys. Um... Oh. Oh, we don't get the extra forces because ah, I should not have left here. Never mind, we can always come back and batter them here next time. Um, sorry, I thought I'd have a bit better garrison here, which of course I won't because I'm wood elves. So, you know, we're potentially in a bit of trouble. We'll have to see how this goes. Um, damn. I have messed this one up royally. Right here, I fight these in an odd way. I'm not particularly bothered about holding the gates. Sorry, holding the walls. I generally just concentrate on holding the gates. So you guys are going to just sit just behind. And the archers will actually pull back from the walls as soon as they get close. Children of Athel Lauren! Athel Lauren! Ah! 
<coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I thought I'd muted there. Ugh, let's do as much damage to these guys as we can. Come on, guys, shoot! You're not gonna hit the tree now. We are battering them back here nicely. By let's hit those archers. Let's take them out quickly. Let's get that sorceress down. Oh no, we're we're being bro we're broken on that side now. Let's move over to try and skirmish them down a bit. Let's just double time this for a second. That's the nice thing is we can also skirmish this army to pieces. Pull back. Burn, us. Burn down that sorcerer now. Got Blackguard coming in there, so we're not going to hold there for long. They're breaking. It's all down to you two now. Aim. She's going to go down quickly. Close defeat though guys, I'm, I'm happy with that, that was a a long battle, we should be able to pull back into here next turn though, uh, so we should be able to pull back into this place, um, you know, we lost it, we lost it, it's not the end of the world, we can always attack here again and retake it, take out some more of Marathi's forces, so... Hmm. She does still have a full stack there. Oh, she didn't actually capture it. She just sacked it, and she'll have got nothing. That was weird, because she'll have gained nothing for sacking there. And now all we're going to do is move a really powerful army back into it. Oh, I want to pay attention to that army. We want to see what these guys are doing. Ooh, pressing the wrong buttons. These guys are seriously weakened now. Eesh. This is where things are getting bleak, because if chaos break through, um, well, they, they will slowly get ground down, but if they break through, it's going to make it harder to catch them. As like I said, I'm building up an army to their side, so I'm not massively worried. First things first, you are being disbanded because you are costing me a fortune. Alright, can we catch that armor? Yes. Goodbye, Queek.
I think everybody will go to war with us. Seeking unseen paths. Oh, I thought they actually had a settlement there. Der Forest is spoken. Unthinkable. The wild Back up into here and let's get repairing. Well, it looks like you've pulled us inside. That's always useful. Start upping our training with you. Okay, let's end turn again, guys. Okay, so the Empire have battered them back a bit there, um, which is good. Our armies are getting back together, but it's going to take us a little bit. Clan Angron just moving down. Hopefully, yeah, they're moving forces to try and deal with those Chaos forces. So we'll see how that goes. There's Kolek coming through there. There's another army going through there. Hopefully the, uh, the Dwarves of Karak, Dra Karak Dragon. That's what it actually means. It's a uh, Dragon Hold or something like that. Uh, are going to deal with them. Uh, let's see what the Law Masters are doing. I want to pressure the Law Masters a bit. Um, if I wasn't having this war over here as well at the moment, I would be able to put far more forces into defending against Chaos. I mean, if you can imagine if I had five or six, yeah, three or four, if I had four armies there, if I had six, I'd beat them. If I had six armies there, I would eviscerate, I would just sit in the Chaos Wastes, and every time anything moved, I would just destroy it. Hmm. Let's see what Marathi is up to then. She knows that, well, she's got a lot of power over, you know, she's got a huge amount of forces over in Nagara. Well, huge amount of territory over in Nagara. So she doesn't have any... Oh, do you want a peace treaty? Not happening. Come, the beauty of Athel. Yeah, you can have military access. I thought you already had it. I thought we were already allies, and I thought you automatically gained it. I suspect you're going to become the next part of the Empire. There go the top knots. Come on, let's unspeed up. Okay, we're going to move on Kemri's. Well, we're going to just keep pushing through them. So, Kemri will we'll take out these guys. Oh, that's annoying. And we'll just start burning through all of these guys. But the... Yeah, the the Necrarch Brotherhood are, are not long for this world now. They're going to start landing, which is good. So they're not going to go too much towards Estelia. And hopefully the other forces will battle. Wow. That is a lot of Chaos Armies, though, guys. I wonder what's in these ruins here. What do you think, guys? I'm going to lay siege to there. We will attack it straight away, but not this time. Uh, 
We are going to start pushing towards Kemri. Let's start buffing you up. Ooh. I want you to be a melee lord. Hmm. Oh wow, is there really no easy way in there? In which case, you can start making your way down the coast this way. Keep an eye on here. We'll potentially go and capture here, but we're, we're going to be careful about how we do that. I, I'm careful at sea because the Dark Elves are scary when it comes to fighting at sea. use the money but I also don't want to be raising settlements just now you are gonna move down right next to next to us here I'm gonna leave them so it gives me the warning next time guys how are we doing up north soon Two turns, we'll be ready to start start pressuring again. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, as I said earlier, I'm probably going to be a bit le lack on, lax on videos this week because I'm about to have a baby as my wife is about to be induced, so scary times. Um, yeah, uh, please, as always, please feel free to throw comments down in the comments section or jump over to my Discord, which is linked in the pinned comment and on my and in the description. You're all more than welcome there to jump on there and say hi, have a chat. Um, there are also links to my Twitter and my Patreon there, guys. Uh, my Patreon, just to make it completely clear, nothing will ever be hidden away to just Patreon users. Everybody will always have access to all the videos I make because as far as I'm concerned, everybody is awesome. However, I am not monetized at the moment, so anything, any donations which are made on Patreon will go towards improving my uh, PC, you know, go into a pot to improve my PC when it does so that I can get a new graphics card so we can have the battles looking even better than they do on my uh, ancient 780, which works fairly well to be honest. So, uh, Anything, any donations on there are really appreciated, guys, because it helps me make better content for you guys. But as I said, everybody who subscribes is awesome. I'm, I'm still amazed people are actually watching my videos because, uh, well, I don't think they're that good, but some of you guys obviously do enjoy them. So thank you very much, guys.